boom shakalaka welcome back to the austin automates channel high level ai assistance versus close bot everyone's asking what is the difference how do they compare why would i choose close bot over the high level ai assistant and i'm going to dive right in and i'm going to show you side by side comparison which one functions better, some of the features, some of the frequently asked questions that are needing to be answered. And I'm just gonna dive right in. So if you get any value from this, click the like button, hit that follow button, and let's just dive right in. So I was given super exclusive secret, top secret access to this information yesterday. You can see November 25th on this public site forum, exclusive access. So what we're gonna be doing is going over the comparison of go high level AI employee versus close bot. Now, here's the thing. I am a diehard high level user. Okay. I have been using high level since 2019. It is a phenomenal tool, phenomenal piece of equipment that helps multiple, many businesses when it comes to their AI assistant versus close bot. It's like a Ferrari versus a Honda close bot is an AI company and high level that they have what they have. Now the feature comparison, see why 28,000 of go high level sub accounts have closed bot installed despite go high level AI employee being an internal option for them. This chart shows the existing feature comparison between the two as November, 2024. And the main thing that sets closed bot apart is the ability for you to create expert level bots with no prompting by leveraging their proprietary dynamic prompting algorithm, which is super sick. This is more important than you realize as it allows the AI to follow commands with much higher accuracy. And I have seen this firsthand inside of the closed bot prompting area. It's super. Th so here are some of the side-by-side -side comparisons. Closed bot, no prompting needed. Closed bot, no prompts. Open AI and Anthropic. And I'm going to go through uh, each of these and what they mean. Rescheduling. Closebot has scheduling. Closebot has custom field updates. Closebot has smart stopping. Closebot does not have internal rebuilding yet. And Closebot has dedicated AI support and smart follow up. While high level has the ability for scheduling and has the, the ability for internal rebuilding. And it is coming soon where you're going to be able to custom, like, like update custom fields. So, what no prompts mean is. It says, even marketing agencies that think they understand prompting best practices make drastic mistakes that cost them and their clients massive amounts of business. Closebot acts as a translator between you and the AI, allowing you to build conversation flows with a simple drag and drop builder that builds complex and high performing prompts for you on the back end. Even senior level AI developers are using Closebot instead of building their own prompts because Closebot dynamically generated AI instruction system outperforms large prompts 10 to 1. Now, I personally use Closebot and it's really cool because the prompting is very minimal. I don't have to be some super crazy prompt engineer. So, option number two, it says open AI and anthropic. If open AI experiences downtime, go high level AI employee goes down too, which we don't want, especially if your customers are, if, if a open AI goes down and you are only using the high level AI assistant, all of your clients, AI bots go down. There is no backup. Close up, close bot users have the option. They can choose whether to use open AI, anthropic, or both. Most users prefer anthropic over open AI as it's a more human like AI experience. This isn't an option with Go High Level AI employee. So here's what that means is that you can choose to have Anthropic and Open AI API key plugged into your Closebot account. And so if Open AI goes down, it'll automatically switch to using Anthropic. If Anthropic goes down, it'll automatically switch to using Open AI. So that way there's a backup plan. And, and we all know that sometimes Open AI goes down and a lot of platforms go down. So close bot rescheduling, what that means, scheduling and rescheduling, close bot release, conversational appointment scheduling five months uh, before high level release the ability for conversationally booked appointments. This head start allows close bot to dial in conversational booking to not only be highly accurate, but also allows us to build in the ability to conversationally reschedule and cancel appointments. This is something high level has yet to release. Closebot's accuracy at AI booked appointments can't be matched. Accuracy matters more than anything when booking appointments. Lost appointments mean lost money and unhappy clients. If you're going to have an AI booking bot, it better be able to schedule and reschedule appointments, which is really cool because it, it takes a couple clicks in their back office inside of the booking section to connect your calendar and that's it. And then it's able to book a conversationally an appointment based on the calendar, which is super cool. 
custom field updating. So right here, custom field updates. And it looks like that's coming soon for high level, but custom field updating. Closebot has been able to conversationally update custom fields for almost two years. This is something that Go High Level will likely release soon. However, this feature that will, it will take time to hone in, something Closebot has done a long time ago. Another aspect worth mentioning is the fact that Closebot can skip asking about information that is already filled in. With the way Go High Level AI employees are designed, this will not be possible. So what that means is you can see these little bubbles here. These are objectives that, that Closebot will actually take your appointment, your customer on a journey with. So let's say it's collecting the name and it's collecting the email and it's collecting a little bit of information. If the person that's communicating with the bot, it can tell that the first name or the email or the phone number is already in there. What your bot will actually do, what your Closebot AI assistant will do is skip that objective because it will already recognize that, hey, this field is already filled for this customer or this client. So we don't need to ask that question and it'll move them along to the next stage in the objective. So let's say it already has the name, the email, and the phone number, and all it needs to do is book a, an appointment. It will, it will stay on that specific objective. Hey, we already know your name, your phone number, your email address. Let's get that appointment booked and it will continue to start booking that, to go after that appointment, which is super cool. And then it, it has the ability to update all kinds of custom fields. Super cool. So that's custom field updates. Smart stopping is super, super helpful. Closebot allows you to auto stop the bot if you encounter the following. Contact is, li is likely another bot or spammer. Contact is becoming upset or wants to stop the conversation. Contact has said goodbye and AI saying goodbye would be awkward. Um, having more control over when your bot is and isn't engaging saves you money and proves provides a more human-like experience for the end customer. Without these stop controls, you'll find customers frustrated with no way to control the AI behavior. So some of the things, like I said, it, it has the ability to contact is becoming aggressive, contact is saying goodbye, contact is a spammer, likely phishing, contact is likely another bot, contact reacted, reached end of objective. So once all those objectives are complete, the AI stops so it doesn't like continue to talk to your customer over and over again. You can set it to where it's like, hey, if it asks a question, answer it, but it won't go back through the process of needing to collect all that information. And then you have custom scenarios where you can set very custom scenarios, very specific. Hey, if this happens, I want the bot to stop. If they say the word boom shakalaka, I want that bot to stop. Then we have internal rebilling. That is coming soon for Closebot. That is something that high level already does have. So internal rebuilding is something that Closebot doesn't have yet. There is no way within Closebot platform to mark up usage for profit. Uh, you can have users pay for their own usage, but there isn't a way to white label way to mark up that usage yet. Go High Level has does have that ability. However, Closebot 2.0 update release in quarter one of 2025 will have this highly requested feature. So you can have them put in their card information and they could pay for their own their own credits. They can have their own API key. You just can't have your API key in there and then upsell them on API credits. Oh, that's all that that's saying. Dedicated human support for AI. Go High Level has a massive list of features. Because of that, their human support staff isn't trained specifically in AI best practices and troubleshooting. Closebot's 24-hour weekday support team uh, is trained regularly on AI, meaning your time to fully functional AI agent is as short as possible. In a nutshell, Closebot is an AI platform. All of their support are trained on AI. For those of you that have reached out to high level support, again, I love you to death, high level. Sometimes support, they have no clue how to help you. And then it gets escalated to an email or whatnot. At Closebot, they are an AI company, so they will know how to help you with your AI issues. Smart follow-up is by far one of my favorite features so far because I don't have to build follow-up into the workflows. It's going to do it automatically for you right inside of Closebot. Closebot allows you to toggle on a function that allows you to set up smart follow-ups in addition to having a customizable follow-up cadence. This means those times when leads say something like on vacation now, but we'll check back with you in a few weeks or so, AI will automatically set that time up. This is simple yet complex feature is extremely important in dr and for driving contacts and conversations. I can't tell you how many times when I was running a database reactivation campaign using workflows for solar companies that someone would say, hey, follow up in six weeks. Hey, follow up around Christmas, follow up next year, follow up next June. And there was no way to like automatically set up a follow up without having to go in and set up some like 
automatic, either, either a reminder for me to follow up or some sort of automation to follow up with that person on that specific date. But now you can set that up right inside of automatic follow-ups. And then if you just click smart follow-up and they say, follow up with me in two weeks, follow up with me in four weeks, it will automatically do that. Then you could also add follow-ups where it's follow-up five minutes, follow-up five days, and you can set like a workflow follow-up right inside of Closebot, and you don't have to go and do that inside of a workflow, which is super, super helpful. Now, cost comparison, Go High Level AI employee costs $97 per month per sub account, okay? So every single sub account you have, it's an X and it's an additional $97 per month. And I don't know how many AI employees you get with that. That's still unclear to me. Closebot costs as little as $67 a month for unlimited sub accounts. With Closebot, all accounts work with unlimited sub accounts. You pay for niche, niche bots with Closebot. If you only serve roofers, for example, you may only need one bot for all your sub accounts. For this comparison below, let's imagine you need Closebot Super Account to serve unlimited niches with all the features unlocked. I do know that they have a one bot option, they have a three bot option, and then they have the ultimate Closebot SaaS option where you can create as many bots, as many sub accounts, and that's 397 for that option. Whether it's one sub account, two, four, five, 10, 100, it stays 397. They did the math on high level. If you have one sub account, it's 97, two sub accounts, three sub accounts. And if you had 100 sub accounts, it would cost $9,700. If you had 10 sub accounts, it's an extra $1,000 a month to have an AI assistant. And again, I don't know how many AI employees you get with every sub account. I'm not sure if it's just one. I'm, I'm, not, I'm still not 100% sure about that. In summary, at Closebot, we are committed to bringing you the highest quality AI, easiest setup. Your Closebots are guaranteed to be extremely reliable and easy to train and get started now. It's super, super easy. This is inside of my Closebot account. Like I said, integration is super simple. You literally just click integrate with, with Lead Connector. You have the detection settings where it's become aggressive, it's saying goodbye all of that stuff, your main prompting, it's like, why is this conversation happening? Someone responded in my chat widget, some important business information, how I would like you to respond. Then I set up my objectives. I want you to collect the name, which service are they looking for? So inside of the booking tab, when you click that open, you click calendars AI, you select your calendar or you hit other and then you enter your calendar ID and boom, that it's like that simple. Once you're connected, you're integrated into high level, it is that simple. And then you have your knowledge base where you can add knowledge storage. And then you have your smart follow-ups where it's automatically, it says smart follow-up, allow your bot to schedule its own follow-ups. In addition to your follow-up cadence, the contact says will be followed up with a particular date. It'll do that. Then you can set up like follow-up within five days, five hours, five months, and you can build that right inside of here. And then I discussed earlier, you can set up different models. Hey, I want it to use the open AI key, the Anthrop Anthropics credits, Anthropics key. That way you have some backups and it's super, super cool, super easy to use. And that right there, those are the biggest differences between the AI high level assistant and close bot. At the end of the day, like I said, I am a diehard high level user. They are not an AI company. Closebot AI is an AI company. This is what they specialize in. So right now to me, Closebot is like a Ferrari and high level is like buying a Honda. It's going to work. It, it could get the job done. But at the end of the day, Closebot is an AI company. And this is what they've been doing for the last few years, perfecting this and making this super user friendly with their drag and drop options. So that right there is the biggest differences between Closebot and the high level AI assistant. If you would like, I do have a two minute setup guide. It takes two minutes to get your Closebot and your AI uh, Closebot account connected to high level and your first bot up and running literally in two minutes. And I have a step-by-step -step guide. I put it in the description if you would like your step-by-step -step setup guide. And then also if you get your step-by-step -step setup guide and you get your Closebot account through my affiliate link, I do have some additional trainings on how to, to master prompting, how to get your bot up and running, how to sell the bots, how to make super sticky offers for your high-level clients and a whole bunch of extra bonuses. So if you want that, like I said, it, go ahead and grab the, the SOP, the setup guide, and it's all in there. You guys have a great rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you in future trainings. And we'll talk soon. Woo!